At least 106 people are dead after the devastating wildfires in Maui. And federal officials are easing some water restrictions along the Colorado River after a wet winter. Good morning, I'm Janine Herbst from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. Survivors of the deadly wildfires in Maui that destroyed the city of Lahaina are finding communications are still difficult with intermittent power and unreliable cell service. At least 106 people are dead. Many residents say they are worried about scammers and major developers coming in to buy up the land as they try to rebuild their lives. Hawaii Governor Josh Green says he will come down hard on anyone who does. If someone behaves in a predatory fashion towards one of the people that are suffering right now, who have lost their loved ones or lost their home, lost their rental, and they try to buy land out from under them, you can be sure I will not be allowing anyone to build or rezone or do anything of that sort if they've taken advantage of anyone here. President Biden says he will visit the area soon. On Capitol Hill, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is marking the first anniversary of President Biden's major legislative achievement, also known as the Inflation Reduction Act. NPR's Deirdre Walsh has more. Schumer acknowledged that it will take a while for the impact of the climate and health care bill to sink in with voters. But he says, quote, the best is yet to come. The Senate Majority Leader argues that talking about the economic benefits of the law, which Democrats passed on their own, will show a major contrast between the two parties in the 2024 election. And I think the contrast between the Republicans and us is glaring. We are investing. They are investigating. Schumer says that what he calls the largest climate action bill in history will lower costs and expand the middle class by creating new jobs in the energy sector. But Republicans say Americans are still paying higher prices and that inflation will hurt Democrats next fall at the ballot box. Deirdre Walsh, NPR News, Washington. Federal officials are easing cutbacks on some users of the Colorado River after a wet winter gave the nation's largest reservoirs a boost. From member station KUNC, Alex Hager has more. Arizona and Nevada will still face some cutbacks to their water supplies in 2024, but they'll be less steep than this year's. That's according to the Bureau of Reclamation. But pressure is still on policymakers to reduce water demand over the long term. Brenda Berman directs the Central Arizona Project, which brings Colorado River water to the Phoenix area. All of us who rely on the river, who rely on our amazing infrastructure, have to be able to come to the table and show how they can live with less. Human-caused climate change is shrinking the amount of water in the river, and the seven states that use it are scrambling to find ways to cut back on demand from cities and farms across the arid west. For NPR News, I'm Alex Hager in Fort Collins, Colorado. In women's World Cup soccer, England is heading to the finals to play Spain this weekend, this after beating Australia this morning 3-1. to You're listening to NPR News.